Now let us discuss about IPv4 header format. Here the size of the header ranges from 20 to 60 bytes. Here we have a field called options without options field. The size of the header is 20 bytes. Whereas with options, the size of the IP header is 60 bytes. Now let's see what is the size here. If you see here, here all these are the fields. Uh, these are 2 bytes. We have 2 bytes. So 2 plus 2 means 4 bytes. So 4 into we have this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row. So 4 into 5 means 20 bytes. So here the size of the IP header is 20 bytes. Whereas options field, options means data. This options field size is 0 to 40 bytes. So that is the point here. IP header size is 20 bytes. If we add all these fields, then we will get 20 bytes. Whereas if we add these 40 bytes, then we will get 20 plus 40 that is 60 bytes. Now let us see all the fields one by one. The first field is version field, which is of size 4 bits. Version field specifies which version we are currently using. Here we are using fourth version. This V4 specifies that version 4. How we can represent 4 in decimal notation? 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. So totally we need 4 bits here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And the next one is HLAN. HLAN specifies the size of the header length. The size of the header length. Header length size is 4 bits. 4 bits. Here each bit represents 4 bytes. Each bit represents 4 bytes. We know that the minimum size of the IP header is 20 bytes. How we can write 20? 20 equal to 5 into 4. How we can write 60? 60 equal to 15 into 4. So each bit is represented with the help of 4 bytes. So here the minimum size of the header length is 5. Whereas the maximum size of the header length is 15. How we can represent 5 in binary notation? 0, 1, 0, 1. How we can represent 15? 8, 4, 2, 1. So this is nothing but the range of the header length. So 4 bits from 5 to 15. And the next one is service type, which is of type 8 bits. So here we can, re this can also be called as DSCP, Differential Services Code Point. Here we have 8 bits. The first two 3 bits specifies precedence, whereas the D stands for delay, low delay. T stands for throughput, high throughput. R stands for reliability, high reliability. C stands for cost, high cost. Whereas the last bit is used for future use. This bit is always set to 0. So here D stands for low delay. And the remaining 3 are high. High throughput, high reliability, high cost. And the last bit is used for future use. Here the value may be either 1 or 0. So if D is 1, then we can say that low delay. So we have low delay. Suppose if D is 0, then we can say that we have normal delay. So likewise, if T is 1, then it specifies high throughput. We will get the output in a faster manner. Whereas if T is 0, normal throughput. Likewise, if C is 1, then high cost. If C is 0, normal cost. Okay, so this is used for future use. Later, these 8 bits are converted like this. The first of 6 bits specifies services only. So D, T, R, C, before that we have some 2 precedence bits, priority bits. And after that we have the last 2 bits specifies E, C, N. E, C, N. Later it is changed like this. The first 6 specifies services. 
so DTRC and some pre precedents, two precedents bits and four DTRC bits. Next, whereas the last two bits specifies ECN. ECN stands for explicit congestion notification. Explicit congestion notification. Suppose if there is a congestion, if there is a too much of traffic, then a notification will be sent to the source. So if there is a congestion, then without discarding the package, then a notification will be sent to the sender. So by seeing that notification, now sender can transmit the package in a slow manner. So that is about ECN, the last two bits, explicit congestion notification. And uh, uh, the next one is total length. So it specifies total length of the header. The total length of the header is 16 bits. We know about the minimum size. What is the minimum size? 20 bytes. Whereas the total size is 16 bits. So 16 means 16 bits. So 16 bits means totally we will have 65,536 bytes. So 65,000, 16 means we can write it has 2 power 16. 2 power 16 means 65,536. So we have 65,536 bytes. So from 0 to 65,535. So here the minimum value is this 20 bytes, whereas the maximum value is 65,535. 65,535. Because we start from 0. So 0 is one value. So 65,535 plus 1 is equal to 65,536. 65, so here the total length of the header is from 20 to 65,535 bytes. And the total length is 65,535 bytes. So minimum value is 20 bytes. And the next field is identification field. Identification field is mainly useful when we are using fragmentation. Suppose if the packet size is large, then that packet will be split into various fragments. The corresponding packet will be split into various fragments. Now this identification field specifies the fragment belongs to which packet. The corresponding fragment belongs to which packet. So that packet, every packet will have several fragments. Okay. So this is of size 16 bits. And the next one is flags. Flags size is 3 bits. Here we have 3 flags. Here the bit 0 specifies that it is a reserved bit. It is used for future use. It is always set to 0. Whereas the second flag, bit 1, specifies DF. DF stands for don't fragment. So the packet should not be fragmented. If DF is set to 1, then we should not fragment that packet. Whereas bit 2 specifies MF. If MF is set to 1, then it specifies that we have more fragments. MF stands for more fragments. We have more fragments. Whereas if MF is 0, then it specifies that it is the last fragment. We don't have any fragments. If you don't have any fragments, then it specifies it is the last fragment. So 1 means more fragments, whereas 0 means last fragment. So this is about flags. And the next one is fragment, fragmentation offset, which is of size 13 bits. Offset, we know about offset. Offset means position. It specifies the position in the corresponding fragment. So we have a fragment like this. So it specifies, that offset specifies the position. Let it be the fourth position. So this is the fourth position in this fragment. Offset specifies the position relative to the, relative to the corresponding fragment. So position of the corresponding fragment. And the next one is time to live, TTL field, which is of size 8 bits. We know that a packet is traveled through a sequence of routers. Here, every router, whenever a router receives a packet, then it decrements time to leave field value by 1. Whenever TTL value, whenever time to leave field value becomes 0, then the corresponding packet 
will be discarded by the router. TDL is mainly useful in order to prevent infinite loops. So sometimes what will happen is a packet will be traveled only through a series of routers. We will have some loops. So in order to prevent infinite loops, we will use TDL field. Why? Because if the packet is traveled through only a sequence of routers, then automatically what will happen? Every time router discards the TTL value by 1, so automatically that packet will be discarded by the router whenever TTL hits 0. And the next one is protocol, which is of size 8 bits. So this protocol specifies from which protocols it is receiving the data. So this is IP. On top of IP, we have transport layer. On top of the transport layer, we have application layer. So the protocol may contain some TCP data. So TCP segment will be encapsulated in the IP packet as well as some application layer message is also encapsulated in this protocol. So from which protocols it is getting the data, which protocols data is encapsulated here. And the, we know and the next one is checksum which is of size 16 bits. We know about checksum. Checksum is mainly useful for error detection. Error detection. So receiver uses checksum mechanism <coughs> in order to check if there are any errors or not. And the next one is source IP address which is of size 32 bits. It specifies IP address of the source machine. And the next one is destination IP address which is of size 16 bits. It specifies IP address of the destination mission. And the last one is options. It includes data. It is optional. So what is the minimum size? Zero. The maximum size is 40 bytes. So this is about IPv4 header format. This is about IPv4 header format.